the problem that I have with accelerate metrics is that they are still metrics. Mm -hmm. And I have a problem with metrics in general. And I have a problem with the notion of productivity. I, I brought this up on Twitter once and Nicole came down on me to the point that we haven't really interacted since then. That how dare you say that this doesn't have anything to do with productivity. And maybe we just have very different ideas about what mm -hmm. the word productivity meant. Um, in fact, definitely that was the problem. And unfortunately we haven't had a discussion on Twitter since then, so who knows? But the, the um, I don't think that, I think that the metrics are productivity metrics if you're focusing on the ops side. But when you start focusing on the dev side, it becomes much fuzzier. And look at something like um, uh, deployment frequency. Is the deployment frequency on one hand can, if it's if it is low, it can be an it can be an indicator, an indirect indicator. So that's another problem with the metrics. They're all indirect indicators. They don't they're not actionable. They don't tell you exactly what to work on. But you go, okay, we've got a low deployment frequency. What what does that mean? And it could mean that your stories are too big. It could mean that you have too much work in progress. It could mean there's some kind of uh, dependency that needs to be resolved. There's a lots of reasons why that could happen. The fact that it tells you there's something here, well, that's good, right? I, I have nothing wrong with that. It's kind of like uh, like uh, mutation testing, right? This mutation testing is great, but it doesn't really tell you much. It says, you know, there's something wrong, figure it out, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, um, the um, so as long as the team is, treating the metric like that and as long as the metric is not escaping to management then they're great mm -hmm. but when the metric escapes to management they go our deployment frequency is low crack that whip tote that bail right is that we you know you've got to work harder and you got to work faster and you got to start working overtime in order to bring up that deployment you're not going what is going on here right so it's like any metric it's too easy to abuse and when you do abuse it, you introduce dysfunction. And I really, I'm, I'm nervous about that. So metrics in general, I, I tend, when I do things as a consultant, I tend to avoid hard metrics because they're, mm -hmm. it's too easy for them to go off the deep end with them and start pushing people to do the wrong things, focusing on output instead of outcomes and that kind of stuff. And I, metrics are almost all output related, uh, particularly the lean metrics. And though, again, I think they have real value inside the team. As soon mm -hmm. as they start escaping out to management, unless management is really kind of enlightened management and understands how lean works, and that's very rare, um, they're going to be abused, is that they're going to cause damage. And accelerate metrics are no different than any other metric that way. Is that it's, uh, it's, I, I, so, so I, I, I mostly agree with you on that, but I. I oh, good. I, we found something not to agree with. <laughs> 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 slight. The slight caveat. The slight caveat. So, so I certainly agree. You, you've obviously worked in some really dysfunctional places. I, I have. This is the life of a consultant, right? Is that if things are going well, they don't call me. <laughs> but, but the the uh, I, I think one of the one of the things that I like about the uh, the, um, the the Dora metrics is mm -hmm. is that that slightly indirect picture. So, um, so you know, you you mentioned you mentioned the deployment frequency. You can you know, so it doesn't it doesn't make a value judgment on how you fix that, and it doesn't tell you, you know, which thing to fix. But if you've got a good score on deployment frequency, if you're doing well on deployment frequency, then your life's probably easier. I, I'm from a continuous delivery point I of view. The way, the, way, the, 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 well, the, the, the way, the way, the way, the, the way that I describe continuous delivery is working so your software is always releasable. So one of the ways that that means if you're working in a XP style continuous integration frame is I want to commit my code. It's not a finished feature, but I'm happy for it to be deployed into production. Right. Uh, and you know, if if that's happening and it doesn't affect the way that I'm working, that's quite a good place to be because I'm getting very clear feedback about where well, I am except, at and the progress that I'm it, making. I've seen it not be a good place to be, right? Because the deployment yeah. frequency ultimately is a function of throughput. And as soon as you start focusing on throughput, you're focusing on output. And I've seen, again, maybe it's because I, <laughs> I work for such screwed up organizations, but many times what I see is people pushing garbage out the door faster because they're being judged on something like deployment frequency. Well, that's, 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 the, bit, no that's the bit. Well, that, that's, that's the bit that I think is important is that you can't choose one of them. 
you, you can't you can't choose one of the Dora metrics. You've got that that they are a set, and so you don't. Well, yeah, but there's no there's no <clears throat> metric for value. Well, there's, there's no uh, way to put a number on value. I I I, I, right. I think that's I think that's fair. I think that's an omission, and but I think it's an understandable one. So the 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 the, the the stability metrics are, are quality, you know, a measure of the quality of the software that we can produce. Throughput's a measure of the, the efficiency with which we can produce software of that quality. And you're kind of balancing those things together, it seems to me. The one of the things that, that, that I kind of like and, and, and promote is the idea of working experimentally. And maybe the, the you know the, the clearest in one of the clearest ways of thinking about that is kind of in SRE type kind of terms where you're yeah. you're establishing an experiment and you're trying to define in the context of this piece of work how will I determine whether this is good or not and, and that's where your value measures come in because they're so contextual I, I don't know I don't know how you'd come up with a measure of value that isn't contextual I don't think there is a measure of value I don't think you can measure it so that's the first issue is people are always wanting one, right? They want some number for value and there isn't one. But, you know, again, you, you look at, it's easy to have high numbers in the Dora metrics and still be doing things really wrong, mm -hmm. right? So deployment frequency is one, uh, mean time to recovery. Um, well, maybe the reason you have to recover is because you had an experiment and the experiment didn't work, right? So, um, <clears throat> Certainly being able to roll back quickly in that situation is good. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, um, sometimes even that's not possible, right? And the, the, the things like deployment frequency, well, sometimes it's better to move more slowly and produce more value. And the, the which means you'll be deploying less frequently. Now, less frequently to me means you're deploying weekly instead of daily or hourly, mm -hmm. but it's still slower, right? And you deploy stuff and it doesn't work. It's a disaster. So you have to roll it back. Well, that's sort of, that's kind of, because we're working in lean space with the door metrics, that's seen as bad, mm -hmm. right? There's a lot of, the thing about lean in general and Dora is not, doesn't escape this trap is that ultimately lean thinking is about running a factory. That's where it all started. So a lot of the basic concepts that underline lean simply are not applicable in a software environment. And even let's get something basic like a Kanban board, right? A Kanban board assumes that you have a linear process and you don't go backwards. And that is the opposite of working in an agile way, right? With an agile team is going to work in a very gestalt kind of way is that they'll, they'll only be working on one thing at a time, but everybody will be working on the same thing. So now we have a Kanban board with one column in it. What use is that? And the, the, um, the idea of you can't go backwards, the rework is bad, right? Classic lean waste rework is one of the classic eight wastes. And, but we go back all the time. That's what Agile is all about, is trying stuff and rolling back and mm -hmm. cycling around in these loops inside of loops inside of loops inside of loops. So as soon as you start focusing too much on lean, you end up thinking that things are bad that are in fact good.